So for quite some time, I've actually been really, really wanting to do this video. A lot of you guys may know, Need for Speed has kind of an arcade-ish style handling. So a lot of cars are a bit more easier to slide than in most other games. And something that I've always wanted to really do in this game is see how well we can actually drift the Civic. Yes, it still recognizes it as a front wheel drive car, but if done right, you can get some kind of slides with it. So what I'm going to do right now is do the best kind of tuning. Right now it's in its grip style tune that I gave it, but we're actually going to try to give as big of a drift tune as I can. I'm not sure exactly how it should be, but hopefully we can get something done right and maybe actually complete the gym con event that i'm going to do and of course i'm going to be doing the mental block gym Kana event i'm really excited for this i'm not sure how this is going to go but just the fact that i'm doing it just really really excites me so that's the drift here i'm going to put just going to go straight to mental block now i'm going to test this out it's just going to be you know a one take thing let's go mental block First, I got to take off Prestige because I forgot that's still on. I will be getting back to that later. But for now, Mental Block. Is it this one? Yes, Mental Block. Here we go. I've always loved doing the Mental Block events. I consider myself to be pretty good at it, I guess I can say. I'm not sure, you know, how well other people are. But I say myself, I'm pretty familiar with it. And at least in my RX-7, I can do very well so without further ado let's get it mental block baby just we just need to hit a 135 i think i can hit the time right but the 135 is the thing that might have me a little bit concerned because i have no idea how well we can get these slides but here we go first turn and as expected from need for speed at least you can get it to slide which is actually really, really interesting. You can really get it to slide. You do have to kind of really force it out a little bit more. But to control it, eh, it's just not as challenging as it should be. Because as a lot of you guys may know, front wheel drive cars like Civic are not really meant to be drifted. But I guess that's why a lot of people dislike this game so much. It's not like so hated, but a lot of people just kind of don't like it too much because it's just too arcade-ish. A lot of people normally come from the Forza Horizons, or Forza in general, I don't know why I just singled out Horizon, but a lot of people tend to come from Forza, and Forza is very, very technical with their games. Yes, you can still slide easily in, <clears throat> in Forza Horizon, although it's still a bit challenging it's just not as arcade as need for speed but i'm just happy that i can do this in my little civic make it at least an all-round car to my extent still challenging to drift but just not as bad oh my gosh that was so close And surprisingly, this car is actually sliding a lot in fifth gear. A lot of times whenever I'm drifting a car, I normally keep it in the fourth gear, but it's like this thing is redlining in fifth gear with ease, which is actually something that I really liked about this Civic when I picked it up, is that this thing's acceleration is so good. I've never felt anything that's as quick as this even the hot rod yes the hot rod is very fast but i just feel like i am topping out my gears so quickly that like i like you can see right here fifth gear i can slide it with ease because i am just wheel spinning redlining like nothing like that is just insane yes i can do the same thing on my other cars but it's they you can tell you can just feel that they favor the fourth gear some even third gear 
just a lot more. And I'm actually really surprised of how well I'm getting these slides. I actually wonder how high up in the, in the points I can get. I think I could probably, depending on how things are going to continue, I can probably hit the 400,000. It's like we've actually done really good. I haven't hit too many walls. He says that he hit the wall. But it's not been too bad. Like I haven't crashed out or anything. This is actually a pretty decent drift, especially for my first attempt with my tune that I haven't even tested with this card. I'm actually really surprised with how well this. Ignore that. That did not happen. I'm actually really liking this. Actually, something I would. Uh, it is kind of stupid to do, but it would be pretty interesting to go into the speed list and see how well I can do against others who are actually using purposely made drift cars. I want to see how far in the Civic I can go. I know I will not get first place. That is just like the biggest long shot I can go for. But I think, seeing as how a lot of people are in the speed list, I can probably hit third place. I can say that I can do third place in this because it's always like for some reason every lobby has that one god ranked drifter for some reason every time I'm in the speed list there's always that one person that I can't ever catch up to and he's just like a god when it comes to drifting then everyone else is just kind of meh they're just like average people so, thinking about that and my drift build front wheel drive Civic, I, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident I can at least hit third place. And you know what? That might even be a future video that I'm going to do. I'm actually going to do a future video on at least going for podium, going for podium in the Civic front wheel drive drifting event. That'll be pretty fun. I have yet to actually do the speed. I've yet to do any grip events simply because I kind of favor drifting more than grip. And I feel like I feel like if I actually jumped into a speed event lobby, I'm literally just gonna be facing nothing but hurricanes and hot rods. And that's gonna be a pain because I don't really want to go for that. I really like to stick with my JDM cars, so I'm pretty sure Zilla would do well in it. But it would just feel very annoying to having to face all these people in just ridiculous hyper cars. Like, are you eh, really don't want to do it? I just want to see how well this can actually do in this roundabout. Like, it's sliding, but this angle is, if you can even consider it an angle, I'm not even sure if I got points off that. And speaking of points, I'm about to hit 450. 450,000. And I'm doing really good on time. We just did this Gymkhana event. First attempt. Did super well. I actually, this is actually one of my best scoring I've actually gotten, I think. I'm not sure what my average score is, but it is around here. I at least get 500. And I'm about to hit that. I won't, I'm not sure I'll get it since the event's about to end like right now. But that was really close to 500,000. In fact, four, just under 4,000 points. That is insane. I can't remember what my highest score is, but damn, that was pretty good. Let's see what it says. That's my rep. Oh my goodness. You saw that first place guy? That first place guy is one of the gods I've had to face in the competitive drifting who somehow almost hit 900,000 freaking points. Are you serious? That is mental, bro. I don't understand how some people can just be that good. I think, ooh, ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, part two of the drifting, we're actually gonna be facing somebody now in the Nautilus. This, this person's gonna look at me like, what the hell? Are you driving? Let's see what this person's in. Oh my god, he's in an OP Hurricane. This is not going to end well for me. Not at all. If I can beat this Hurricane, then I'm officially going to be doing this in competitive. 
Holy crap, I'm actually able to... How am I not able to do this in my Sylvia as much? Like, I was drifting my Sylvia and it wasn't able to slide as easy. Like, yeah, you can slide, but it just didn't cooperate as well as his Civic. How am I able to do this in a Civic? How is this possible? How is this happening? How am I running tandems with this Hurricane? Yo, this thing is like, I killed that Ferrari by the way, but how am I able to do this? Oh, frick, I just lost my 9,000 points. I'm, okay, I'm not surprised that he is so far up in the lead, but it's just the fact that I'm not doing too bad in this event. That surprises me. I can probably win it too. All right, really? Oh, he screwed up too. Oh, I screwed up as well, but I still kept my points. That's good. Oh no, he's way far up in that lead. There is no way I can be. I could probably beat him. <clears throat> I can probably beat him if I have my Civic though. I mean, not my Civic, but my R RX7. I could definitely beat him. I, I'm pretty sure. I'm actually that confident in my RX7. I really like you. Have no idea how much I just love that car. And I've like I pretty much perfected my drifting with that car. Yeah, it's still hard for me to compete against all these OP credit cans that everyone loves to freaking race around in drifting events which just blows my mind like why just drive a jdm car please or maybe even a mustang because you know people like fun getting junior love to do that but it's just like bruh <laughs> why <laughs> why is the hood can out of all the cars in need for speed why is the hood can the most op drift car drift car in the game it makes no sense to me whatsoever all right right now we're gonna have to maximize these points that i can somehow do in a front wheel drive car what is this what is this ghost games how am i able to do this how is this possible bro I, it just blows my mind that i can actually do this in need for speed i don't get it but it excites me like, yeah, like you can see right now, I'm kind of struggling to get it to slide out. But it's like the moment you can't slide out, like right now, you can control this. It makes no sense whatsoever, but it's a good thing. Like, it just shows any car can be made a drift car to all them haters out there. You can run into walls with the Civic trying to drift. But you can slide any car you want in Need for Speed. Front wheel drive, rear wheel drive, all wheel drive, it don't freaking matter. It can't be the OP hood account because the hood account is just straight up OP. Hate you, the passion, but I can still slide with the Civic and that's all that freaking matters. So, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, comment on what you think about this Civic that's been wrecked multiple times i need to go find a gas station to repair it so you guys can actually see the beauty of this nice little civic and i'll be ending the video off there hitting a nice little 360 ah, i kind of rear-ended that wall my bad my bad civic rip where's the gas station i know the gas station's right here there it is all right now see it's beauty with all the dirt in front which is disgusting which you wish the freaking car not car wash, but I wish the gas station actually washed it as well. Like, ew, it's disgusting. As I get this rear, what am I saying? This reverse burnout. I'll see you guys in the next video. Definitely, definitely, we'll be doing a competitive drifting event in the Civic sometime in the future. I promise y'all, it will happen. So, till next time, this has been your boy, Taking Heat, and I am out. Peace.